Negative punishment, folks. Um, it's not bad punishment, as you might believe, because first off, negative doesn't mean good or bad. It means the loss of something. So we're going to lose something, negative, and reduce the behavior, punishment, right? So the loss of something will reduce the behavior. Oh, I can't believe you got a C on your test. You, you got a C on your test. So I'm going to take away your technology. Negative punishment, right? Um, you dropped the F-bomb in front of me. I'm going to take away your technology. Um, let's see. I could take away your money. I could take away anything to reduce the behavior. That is negative punishment. Um, of course, you only know it's if it's actually punishment, if the behavior in question genuinely reduced. So a lot of it is you're trying to guess about what you think might reduce the behavior, but until you see the reduction in behavior, then you don't know for sure if it's actually punishment. Um, and that just speaks to the fact that we don't always know what punishers are and reinforcers are until we do the work to actually find out. But you can make a darn good guess um, if you have reinforcer preference assessments and all things like that. That's been done in the past. So removal of a stimulus to reduce the behavior. Negative punishment, also called response cost.